While President Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong-un held talks in Vietnam, something else was taking place. Sure, Michael Cohen's congressional testimony was happening, but it's what was unseen that was troubling. The New York Times reports that North Korean hackers continued their attacks on U.S. and European businesses as the Trump-Kim summit took place, according to researchers at the cybersecurity firm McAfee. The attacks were centered on various banks, utilities, telecommunications, and oil and gas companies, which McAfee says has been ongoing since 2017. North Korea has agreed to stop test-firing missiles while they negotiate with the U.S. over denuclearization and sanction talks, but Victor Cha, the Korea chairman at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C., points out that while the missiles have not been tested in over a year, the cyber hacking has continued. Cha told The Times that North Korea knows they cannot match the U.S. in an arms race, so, quote, they have moved to an asymmetric strategy of nuclear weapons, ballistic missiles, and the third leg is cyber. It is believed that U.S. North Korea discussions have focused so far on military weapons, but with the country's successful cyber attack capabilities, Cha thinks that should be on the table for future meetings.